My name is Wiley Robinson. I have a I have lung cancer, both lungs now. I think the year I was 16. I remember that year I got saved. I I stood up, stood up for the Lord. I felt my need for salvation. I need felt my need to come to know Christ as my savior. As you grow a little older, you go out into the world and you find the world is, I won't say a different place, but some of the desires of the world you seem to want or have a desire to do. I started fishing when I was 16. When I was 36, I sold out of that, I got out of fishing uh, to retire. I was a Christian, living sort of a Christian life. I hadn't surrendered fully to God. I never did. My brother was always in different businesses. So we said, let's set a business up. David and I set up our fish business. He blessed us there beyond our wildest imagination. And after a year, why, we decided to build some a dragger for ourselves. As soon as that boat was finished, we had an order come in for another boat. This is how our boat business became. And we built about 15 boats. These boats were million dollar boats almost. And then again, we were highly successful beyond my wildest imagination, the money that we made from these boats. Being successful in life puts you in a category that you're in control. If you can be successful, you say, well, hey, it's me. For sure, when we're 20, 21, we're in control. Man, we can move a mountain if we, if we get a hold of it right. God probably wasn't my priority when I was 25. No, but you know, I, he was, I, he, I desired him. I really wanted to know God but it was just that I was in control of everything and I thought that I could put it off until a later date. Not putting salvation off, because I, I needed that. I had to have salvation. I took that. But I thought living for God, being, you know, being 100% for Him, I would put it off at a different date. But, oh, I was so wrong. This past 10 years, I've had a quite a change in my life. Nine years ago, I had the opportunity to go on a short-term missions to Bolivia. I must say that I have never been the same since. The first three days there, I wept to think, why did I get myself in a position to come here where there's so much dirt and uh, where I came to where there's nothing. I didn't need this. I didn't have to do this. But after our term was up, I wept to leave the people because I cried, I loved the people. The change it's had in my life uh, has been very prominent. I will never be the same again. Over the past six years, I've battled cancer. I had to have a breast removed. I guess two years and a half ago, I was told that I had lung cancer. I got word that I had lung cancer again. It's a reoccurrence in the left lung. And I get down on my knees and I talked to God that night. When I stood up, I had a calmness come over me. We talk about this peace which path us all understanding. I had it. I had a calmness and I, and I have feared no more. I shed some tears. We cry a little bit. We laugh a little bit. I don't fear cancer. I don't fear death. Had sickness not come into my life, probably I would probably be somewhere back there. 
I wished it hadn't taken sickness to bring me to where I am now. For I truly want to serve the Lord. I want every day of my life to bring Him some kind of honor. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want the world. I don't want anything to do with the, what the world's got to offer. They haven't got anything to offer. I know my time is very short now. Maybe days, maybe weeks. And that's why I'm doing this today. If you don't know him, to live your to give your life over to him. So that you can find that peace which passes all understanding. I found that peace. I have it. Praise God.